meta-analysis with continuous outcome based on an effect size which is correlation or R for correlation coefficient in Jamuvi and plotting a forest plot and a funnel plot. So what is meta-analysis? Meta-analysis is a statistical method that combines data or results extracted from several independent studies that addresses the same scientific or medical or clinical research question. The objective of meta-analysis is to calculate the pooled or overall estimate effect size which is the overall correlation coefficient in our case and to perform heterogeneity test to check whether there is variability or inconsistency among the results from those uh, several independent multiple research studies by generating an I squared value and a P value and performing a Q statistics which is based on chi square and an I squared value is represented in a percentage with a higher percentage indicates high heterogeneity and a low percentage indicates low heterogeneity. The meta-analysis will also produce an output uh, by drawing a forest plot. A forest plot is a diagram that summarizes the results of meta-analysis and it uh, consists of three sections one section for descriptive statistics, a second section for diagrammatic representation of the descriptive statistics, and a third section which is the overall uh, statistical analysis and the heterogeneity test. And the meta-analysis also will generate a funnel plot to test for uh, publication Bias. Here in Jamuvi data view, I had placed uh, 12 uh, independent studies that addressing the same scientific or medical or clinical question and uh, data are collected from each study and the total number of participants recruited to the study were also recorded and the correlation coefficient which is an effect size was calculated for each study to perform meta-analysis based on an effect size estimate of effect size which is a correlation coefficient which is r here in this case to calculate the pooled overall uh, correlation coefficient and to draw a conclusion based on the those 12 studies to do meta-analysis in Jamuvi first of all download the package for meta-analysis if it is not installed by clicking on modules and then scrolling through the library Jamuvi library and then uh, download the major package. Uh, once installed, click on the major package and select the meta analysis for correlation coefficient with an R and an N for the numbers uh, or total numbers. A new window will appear and there are sections here for correlation coefficient move the study id into the study label and then move the r into the 
correlation section and the total for the sample sizes simultaneously a few tables are generated with description and a forest plot and a funnel plot so if we tick on the model option here and scroll up to the top the model estimator here there are several options to select from uh, I will stick with the restricted maximum likelihood and for the model uh, measures there are other options we'll stick with the fissures R uh, to um, Z transformed correlation coefficient and no moderators here and the test will retain as Z test and 95% confidence interval for the forest plot uh, uh, there will be no major selection and for the funnel plot uh, simultaneously no selection and for publication bias there are few selection but we will keep the default format uh, as it is assigned and for additional options no selections in the output here for the analysis as shown from the first table uh, for the correlation coefficient for meta-analysis a random effects models was chosen and there are 12 studies and the estimated effect size which is the correlation coefficient is 0.5 with a p-value that is significant less than 0.05 and the 95% confidence interval that contains or includes the value for the pooled uh, uh, correlation coefficient and a second table for testing the heterogeneity and as shown here the i squared is produced which is four percent which indicates very low level of heterogeneity among the uh, results and the p value greater than 0.05 and the q square uh, q statistics based on the chi square scrolling down to the forest plot as shown here from the forest plot the id for the 12 studies is recorded on the left hand side and the random effect model is recorded here uh, the uh, plot is uh, consist of here should consist of three sections descriptive sections a diagrammatic representation of the descriptive uh, statistics which is uh, uh, given here with the correlation coefficient assigned for each study and the 95% confidence interval and here toward the uh, lower end uh, a overall correlation coefficient is calculated to be 0.5 with 95% confidence interval the small or variable squares here represent the correlation coefficient for each individual study and there is a variation in the size of the square and that is reflection or representation of the sample size larger sample size will have larger uh, square as it will have higher influence or impact in the on the overall meta-analysis the horizontal line represent the 95 percent confidence interval upper and lower limits and the dashed line here is the line of no effect and the diamond shaped structure here represent the overall or the pooled correlation coefficient which is 0.5 and a ruler for the scale is presented here at the bottom moving to the other sections here uh, further uh, tests are performed as shown here for publication pious assessment and uh, uh, Eager's regression was performed as given in this table and a p-value is assigned for this Eager, Eager's regression scrolling down to the funnel plot as given here 
the funnel plot is a scatter plot that has on the x-axis the correlation coefficient for each specific studies as represented by the black uh, small circles and on the y-axis is the standard error and the scatter is in the shape of the funnel and the line in the middle is the um, calculated overall correlation coefficient which is 0.5 and for lack of publication bias the distribution of the uh, effect size which is the correlation coefficient for each individual study should be symmetrical um, or distributed evenly on both sides of the line above the line and below the line and here we have one two three four five on the uh, right hand side and one two three four five six seven on the left hand side so this uh, uh, funnel will determine whether there is a publication bias supported by the eagles regression test outcome so this is the way to perform meta-analysis with a variable or an outcome that is continuous and with an effect size estimated which is a correlation coefficient in Jamuvi to draw a funnel plot and a forest plot.